Welcome to Whiteboard Friday. In the past, when we've talked about things like 1080 drops, we've had some real responses like, why don't we just trap? Why don't we particularly use possum fur trappers to get out there, because they can reduce these nasty possum numbers and make a bit of money at the same time. Of course, the objective here is we're trying to reduce the amount of nasties out there munching on our native birds, and no one really likes 1080. We all admit that, that there's some, some problems with it. So it is a valid thing to look at whether possum fur trapping is a viable alternative. The trouble is that when we talk about trapping for fur, we're often comparing apples with pears or possums and rats. Whatever, it's a difficult comparison to make. We're not comparing like with like. But luckily, with the eradication in Half Moon Bay, the study that's just recently been released, we have the opportunity to do that. Let me show you why comparing things as we currently do is not done on a like-for-like -like basis. So with possum fur trapping, we're only reducing the amount of possums in the environment down to a certain level. Possum fur trappers actually like having a few possums around because that gives them more fur to harvest which makes them, allows them to make lots of lovely warm things which we export or sell to tourists. The trouble is that in some conservation areas we might, we might want fewer possums than that. We might want a lower number of possums or ideally none at all. So we're not necessarily comparing like with like when we compare a 1080 drop with possum fur trapping. The other reason is that possum fur trappers are only really concerned with possums. Whereas actually on a conservation basis we're also worried about rats and stoats. So unless these lovely possum fur trappers are also going to take care of rats and stoats while they're out bopping possums on the head, then again we're not comparing like with like. But looking at the costings that were done the, for the options analysis in terms of doing an eradication in Half Moon Bay, so this is moving towards a predator-free Rakiura, the options analysis actually shows us the cost of an aerial drop versus trapping and using poison bait stations. Now, no one's talking about doing an aerial drop because, of course, there's a town in the area. But it was looked at just from a cost comparison basis, which gives us a useful starting point to compare the costs of an aerial operation versus, you know, on the ground trapping. So first up, we'll look at the cost of doing the full 5,000 hectare eradication in Half Moon Bay. So this is just one of the options that is being looked at at the moment. <clears throat> With a trapping approach, it would cost roughly 12.5 million. That's the cheapest option based on the widest possible grid size. But basically across that whole 5,000 hectares, you have to cut 50 meter grids and put traps at 50 meter intervals across that to make sure that all the rats and all the possums and all the feral cats have a nice tasty bait with a nice nasty trap that will catch them within the area that they roam on a daily basis. That costs 12.5 million. If we use bait stations which are slightly cheaper because you don't have to go out and reset them all the time, that costs is roughly 9.4 million. So again, we have to establish these grids, put base stations at regular intervals to fill it with nice, tasty bait that kills off the possums, rats, uh, and uh, feral cats within that area. But the total cost of doing an aerial operation over the same area would actually be 4.7 million. So you can see it's less than a half the cost of doing bait stations, and almost a third of the cost of doing a trapping operation. So you can see that an aerial operation trying to achieve the same thing, which is an eradication, a complete eradication of possums, rats and feral cats from that area, is roughly a third the cost of a trapping operation. So you're going to have to make an awful lot of money from the possums that you kill in that area to make this worthwhile, this cost differential worthwhile for possum fur trappers to, to really do the job. So while certainly 
Possum fur trapping is, a, is a, a valuable tool in terms of reducing the amount of nasty predators out there that are munching on our native birds. It's not going to be the complete solution, simply because they don't kill enough possums and they don't take care of the rats and the uh, stoats in most of our environment. Or on, on, on Rakiura's case, instead of stoats, we've got cats as a problem. So there, therefore you can really see that aerial in some cases is definitely going to be the most cost effective option in terms of improving the plight of our native wildlife.